A Decatur Fire and Rescue Lieutenant double demoted for allegedly violating policies on the job. Today, former Lieutenant Curtis Butler sat before a personnel board for his appeal hearing to fight to get his job back. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer was there inside Decatur City Hall listening to Butler testify. Paige, you have details now. Nicole, yes, Curtis Butler answered dozens of questions here at Decatur City Hall today in hopes to appeal his demotion. While he was testifying, he did admit to violating two policies while on the job. He admitted to bringing a gun onto city property, and he admitted to bringing a woman onto city property after hours. However, he denied several other allegations that are currently being brought against him. Now, during his testimony, former Lieutenant Butler confessed to bringing guns onto the firehouse more than once. He says he never acted poorly with the guns, however. But Butler also admitted he had a female visitor at the, at the firehouse after hours. He says they did not go inside and he stayed in the engine bay with the doors open the entire time. He says they were never in a romantic relationship. Now, Butler and his attorney say he wasn't properly informed or disciplined ahead of his demotion. But despite everything, he wants to return to doing what he loves. Best job in the world. I'll argue with anybody. Best job, period. Butler was also very upset about allegations of in, that he inappropriately touched a woman who was injured by a seatbelt. He says this never happened and he was never disciplined for this. Now, the board will meet again and review the information once they receive the transcripts from today's hearing. They will then set another meeting at a later date to discuss the case and make a final decision on Butler. Now, we have, are, of course, staying on top of this and we'll provide updates to you guys as we get them both on air and online at WayTV.com. Reporting live in Decatur with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.